Well, hello again. This afternoon we're going to demonstrate uh, pump panel operations, uh, multiple hand lines at differing pressures. The focus is the proper use of the relief valve and making the transition from a pressurized water source to uh, making the transition from using the tank to a pressurized water source. Okay, this is a simulated live fire uh, demonstration. We're going to start with the number one jump line. I have the truck and pump gear. I know I'm going to pump, so I turn on my relief valve. I'll be using my number one jump line. I'll be pumping off the tank. Then I'll be making the transition to the pressurized water source before I run out of water. Okay, pull the number one jump line. I'm going to bring my standard starting engine pressure up to 100 for Pond Conquest. I know I have 200 feet. Upon conquest with an Elkhart 125-75 nozzle, I know that the pressure for that line is 102 psi. So I'm going to bring up my engine pressure to 100 psi. Now I'm standing by for directions from command to charge the fire line. I have engine pressure available. My relief valve is on, and I identify my discharge gate. I'm watching the deployment of the line. Checking to see that my hose bed is clear. There's no kinks in this area. So when I get when I get the okay to charge the line from the officer in charge, then I'm going to charge the number one jump line, and then I'm going to set my relief valve. charge the line, now I'm going to charge the line. And as you notice what I do, the engine pressure will go down. Okay, so I want to make sure that there's water flowing in the line. Now I want to pump my engine pressure up.
make sure I maintain 100 PSI on that attack line. Okay, the relief valve is now closed. But I'm not sure where it's at, so I'm going to open it manually, okay? It opens, we go back two turns, it should close. Okay, now it's closed. I'm set at 100 at my discharge. Okay, now I'm going to come around here, check the hose bed, make sure my number two jump line is clear. We're going to look at the other side, make sure they have the extra 100 feet. They're adding in the extra 100 feet now to take a look. When they're ready, I'm going to charge the line. And this is a 300 foot jump line of Pond Conquest, also with a 125-75 nozzle. So I know 200 feet. I'm adding an extra 300, an, an extra 100 feet. Are they looking at them? What? Yeah. Stay. Maintain this one at 100. I'm going to get my relief valve out of the way. I'm going to bump this line up to 125 while I gate down on this line. Okay. I'm at 125. I'm at 100 on this line gated down. Now I'm going to reset my relief valve at 125. Back it out until the relief valve opens. two turns and it should close again. My highest pressure line is now protected against any surges. Now I'm going to do my calculations. I know that a standard jump line upon conquest with an Elkhart 125-75 is 102. I have an extra 100 feet which is an additional 14 psi of friction loss for a total of 116 psi. So I'm actually a little bit too high, so I'm going to bump the engine pressure down to approximately 115. Make sure that I have enough on the first line. 102. Now I'm going to reset my relief valve again. 